Bondo. back to my shop. Today we're going to get back on this 1949 GMC and the wood bed repair that I started a couple of vlogs ago. This will be part three. In this part I hope to uh, get the uh, metal, the rusted metal cut out and new parts welded in. Hopefully my new parts will be receiving before I get some work done outside here today. So uh, and if the parts come in we'll get those installed too. So anyway, uh, well, I'm hearing some machinery pull in now. So before we get to work on this thing, I want to show you a little bit of work I'm getting done here around the shop. So stay tuned as we get on this 1949 GMC 100 and get busy. said that's a brand new dump truck. up ready to go this is the machinery a man needs to get a job done all right that's 300 feet of asphalt plus what's in front of my shop man it looks good back on the GMC and getting uh, getting some of this rust repair done. I'm going to cut out this uh, busted out piece and weld in some uh, some good steel there to uh, kind of shore up that uh, that angle that angled uh, side brace support piece. I guess we could call it. I want to call it angle iron, but it ain't iron. It's it's steel. So anyway. Alright, look at 
Just land. Brand new cross suit. Ooh, isn't that nice? Yeah, feels pretty good and heavy. All right. Yeah, got the wood blocks. Should have four of them. Three, four. Couple pads. What they're for, I do not know. I believe these two brackets slide on the uh, cross sill to secure it to the blocks. And there's the carriage bolt kit to bolt that sucker down. All right. All right. And a couple blings. These are little caps for the, uh, you can't really tell, but they, they uh, plug the hole in the back of the bed, the, the round, uh, the rolls. So anyway. There you go. All right, well, there's some of the patches I've cut and welded in. I'm not overly concerned with them sticking out a little further than the uh, the original side plate there because uh, the wood's going to go over top of it anyway. So I'm not going to spend too much time custom trimming them pieces in. Just uh, just wanted to get them secured in and welded in, and welded into the point where it didn't. Uh, go through the metal and, <laughs> and ruin the outside paint job. So anyway, there's part of it. I decided I'm going to try to take this front panel off so I can try to straighten it out and repair it uh, out of the truck. And uh, the bolts that bolted in, they got a lot of paint and everything else on them, so I'm going to try to clean them up. Three-eighths inch driver. That's one side. All right, I didn't show it, but I pulled out at the very top here. This piece of all thread looks like that was printed in all the way up here. Once I got it broke loose at one side, I pulled it out. So anyway, all right, this project is escalating faster and higher than I want, and this is the only other piece I'm taking out. Right here. Look at all that rust came out of there. We're going to attempt to straighten that out. All right, I incorrectly called that all thread, that rod that ran through the uh, top of the uh, that uh, front bed panel. Actually, it's only threaded at the ends, and it's threaded with uh, uh, 516, 18, uh, by 18 thread so I'm gonna chase them 
and just reuse it because I don't uh, I don't see the need in uh, buying an all thread when this will work fine. All right, there we go. There's a nut right here. Yeah, cleaned up good. We'll leave that nut on there. All right, here's that front uh, bed panel. Looks like I'm gonna need to go up a couple inches. And I need about two and a half inches below that uh, to have enough to cover to the uh, cross uh, sill. So I'll be cutting, I'll make a straight line, cut that much off. And this is 50 inches long. So I happen to have a piece of steel over there left that'll cover that. So anyway. He's next. Well, the hits just keep getting bigger. Bondo. <laughs> Looks like they just bondoed up, bondoed over some rust, and that's what it's become—a big hole. I guess I'll have to patch that too. All right, I'm gonna take a little break from the metal working because I uh, I've ordered some uh, stuff that'll help me uh, uh, cut some metal and everything. So I'm doing a little mock up here to see uh, to see what I've got. Here you can see kind of what I'm going to be doing with my uh, flooring here, and uh, this is a constantly evolving project. And uh, this is inch and a half angle iron right here. And uh, I think I've done a check and I can get two inch, which will be enough to bolt to this front sill. And then I can use, uh, drill some holes in it and I can use some uh, self tappers or whatever I need to bring that uh, front plate uh, panel in to uh, secure to it. And then uh, I'm gonna get some uh, uh, carriage bolts to uh, get this floater notched in. And I, I don't know, I'm thinking about putting some wood across the top of this. What I'm thinking about doing is getting some self tappers. Once I get these secured, you can see I've got my blocks in there. So there's one block and there's the other block for the mock-in purposes. And uh, of course this one floats. So, I may use self tappers and I could drill through the wood and use them to uh, go into the metal and uh, it'll be on the top. It's not even going to be securing to this rusted out plate here, which I've got some steel or I may weld onto there. I'm definitely going to get some encapsulant, some rust encapsulant to help stop that. I've cut a lot of the bad out, the cancerous part and just, uh, I don't know if I'm going to patch it or just cover over it <laughs> but anyway I know some of you all are in the process of uh, redoing your beds and are kind of watching uh, watching what I'm doing now keep in mind I am being very unconventional in my uh, in my repair here I'm not doing a restoration of the bed I'm doing a repair uh, to make it uh, usable uh, to make it strong and usable and I'm using materials I've already got. So I'm not purchasing uh, the wood or the strips or, or pretty much anything OEM type or remanufactured type to redo the bed to OEM type specs. I'm gonna repair it to, uh, to good condition, workable condition with materials I've got and also purchasing at a minimal expense absolute needed material so anyway angle iron that front sill so i guess in the long run what i'm saying is you may or may not want to use my example and uh it's like here you know you're supposed to have a gap here i'm actually taking it all the way up to the uh side angle piece there uh it's because the uh the wood actually would go underneath the sill that side 
uh, plate there. And I'm going to actually go over top. Because I'm not, uh, in order to replace those side pieces, I'd have to cut them out and, uh, and either uh, uh, spot weld or bolt in new. And, uh, you know, the side bit here, I just can't get any uh, uh, touch up paint to match this. And I don't want to hold more primer than what's needed. So I'm keeping those plates and I've, you know, welded in patches and I'm going to put that encapsulant paint on it to do it. So anyway, that's kind of a plan of attack that I'm going to go with. Of course, I'll cut the wood down. It's just kind of laying in there now. And this is that old tongue and groove I pulled out of that cabin. Basically, this tongue and groove is well over 100 years old and I've got just enough to do this bed. I did this bed. I did that bed. Built the wall back over here, which uh, I'm going to tear down <laughs> and move over to this side of the shop. But that's something else way down the road. So anyway, I'll be pulling that front panel off so I can do the needed repair to it. But uh, for mock-up purposes, it's going to stay there now so I can get the... I am going to cut out the old uh, rusty piece. I'm going to fix that part right here also. Patch it where it was bondoed right in here cut it out and bon uh, bondo and patch it up and uh, that'll just be a primer spot and uh, of course the inside metal will be primed and we'll go from there so anyway this is taking a whole lot more and longer than <laughs> more work and a whole lot more time to do uh, than I uh, and, and anticipated but you know What's new? Anytime you do anything to these old trucks, you buy it, you've got to expect that you're going to run into other stuff. So you got to know when to say when, when to say stop. And, uh, you know, if uh, you can get carried away and turn a uh, uh, repair into a full frame off restore, and that is not the uh, goal at this particular time. It's just a repair to get this thing on the road. I need to get it on the road so I can get him over here and get some work done on him. And uh, I'm wanting to run around in the V8 anyway. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of uh, the big picture that I've got. All right, looks like we're at a good stopping point. I've got some other things I've got to get done. Uh, weather's breaking out there. I'm in a sweatshirt because it's kind of chilly inside the shop, but you go outside in the sunlight, we're in the mid-50s, close to the 60s. Isn't that good? And I got a mow. Can you believe that? We've had so much rain, though, I need to go out here and check if it's hard enough to where I can do, um, do my mowing. I kind of don't like to mow when the ground is too mud soft and mushy because, uh, of course, it leaves uh, tracks, that uh, just mud tracks all over. So I can wait a couple more days if it's not calling for rain. So anyway, but that's neither here nor there. As far as the truck, well, I've got some uh, tools coming in. It's going to help me in the metal, the metal working part aspect of this. So I'm going to hold off doing the repair of that front uh, panel yet and doing some other cutting. Uh, but that will get done. Hopefully they'll come in this week and I can get that done. By this time, I was hoping and planning to be putting the wood on and finishing this thing up. But you know how it is when you uh, start working on these old trucks. You do one thing, you will find 10 more to do. So you got to know when to say when, right? Well, I already said that, didn't I? So anyway, I guess in the next upcoming uh, part four, I guess it'll be, we'll hopefully get into the, uh, the repair of that front panel and get it bolted in. And then I hope to have the rest of the uh, framing done in here to where once I get that panel in, I can get that wood start putting it down. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope everything's going good with you and yours. Everything's going good here as far as I know. Can't complain. Wouldn't do me any good to complain, would it? So anyway, have a good one, and we'll see you around on the next one. See you.